Welcome for mathematics lesson. Today we are going to discuss linear motion, velocity time graphs. We are told in number 24 that uh, the diagram below shows the graph of a moving matter to from one bus stop to another. So the motion is just as shown on the graph. Before we get into the solution or to the questions which have been asked, it's very good I clarify that whenever the graph is a straight line which is having a positive gradient as we can see from origin to a point a it means that uh, the particle is accelerating so this is acceleration the particle is acceleration but if there is a horizontal line at that flat part we say that uh, this is a point when the particle is moving at a uniform velocity, no acceleration. But if it's a straight line, which is having a negative gradient, as we can see from point, let's say B to C, then this is a deceleration or what you call retardation. So that is simply the description of this graph. Now we are taught to find the acceleration of the matter. Tree. Acceleration, acceleration is usually calculated by gradient of the positive line. The line which is having a positive gradient, you obtain the value of that gradient. It will give us the acceleration, or rather the rate of change of velocity with respect to time. Therefore, in this we are talking about, uh, this is from a, a velocity of zero all the way to a velocity of 15 at this point. Therefore, we can take change in velocity, 15 minus zero, divided by change in time up to 20 from zero. So 20 minus zero. This is going to be 15 out of 20 and when you carry out the computation then you're going to find that uh, 15 over 20 is equal to 0 0.75 meters per second square that is what you call acceleration find the deceleration of the matter to to find deceleration again we're going to find the slope or rather the gradient of the line which is having a negative gradient. We have from a velocity of 15 all the way to zero, then time from 40 all the way to 60 seconds. Therefore, you just use those two coordinates. This is a 40, 15 and zero, 60 or 60 and zero. Therefore, the final velocity in this case is going to be 0 all the way from 15. Then final time, we have uh, 60 all the way from 40. So negative 15 out of negative, uh, positive 20, sorry. So the deceleration is going to be, or the acceleration here, negative 0 0.75. When the acceleration is negative, we usually conclude that the deceleration is of the absolute value of that negative deceleration. Therefore, we have just calculated acceleration for this part, and it's proving to be negative. So the value of deceleration is the absolute value of the negative gradient obtained. Calculate the distance the matter to the distance the matter to. Mm -hmm. The distance covered by the matatu while accelerating. The distance covered by the matatu while accelerating. So from O to A, the distance covered is usually area under the graph. Therefore, area of the triangle part is going to be, because that is the accelerating part, we take an area which gives us the distance, or rather the displacement S, half multiplied by the base so at the base we are having from 0 to 20 
that is the 20 units multiplied by from 0 to 15, that is 15. So we're going to have 10 here. This will give us 150 meters is the distance while the matato is accelerating. We have a part D, which is talking of calculate the distance the matato covered while traveling at an acceleration of zero meters per second squared. Acceleration of zero meters per second squared means at the time it was having what we call uniform velocity because it is not accelerating in this case. And that is the, the area of the rectangle part at this point, the area of the rectangle part. Therefore, the height here is going to be from 0 to 15, that is 15 units. But from 20 to 40, we have 20 units. Therefore, area will be length times width. 20 multiplied by 15, this is going to give us exactly 300. Exactly 300 meters. So that is the distance covered. We are also told to find the distance between the two bus stops. That means the total distance. So we can calculate the other remaining distance, which is the distance while the matatu was decelerating the remaining triangle now, whereby we're going to say we are having from 40 to 60, that is 20 units, and the height here is going to be 15 because it's from 0 to 15. Therefore, the distance here is also going to be equal to the distance during acceleration, that is both 150 and 150, then we have 300 here. Therefore, total distance, in other words, so total distance total distance covered is going to be 150 plus 300 plus 150. This is going to be 600 meters.